Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, one of the things that we're going to check out um, is a new tool. And basically, um, what you have is the ability now to have a video editing tool. And um, basically, ClipChamp has been added to Build 22572, which is the um, video editing tool. And if you've been using Windows Movie Maker, you might be kind of happy with this. Um, so this is a new app available for video editing. It doesn't, you can't search for it in the search of apps because it doesn't pop up for some reason. It is added through the uh, Microsoft Store. So if you don't see it, go to the Microsoft Store in the latest build. Go into the uh, library on the left side and check the updates. You should see ClipChamp pop up in updates. And you can open it from there. So if you look here, I have it here, ClipChamp Video Editor. You can open it from here. Or you can, of course, check for updates if you don't see it. Uh, if you want to start it, you can start it from there. You can also go to All Apps, go into the C, and for ClipChamp. Now, ClipChamp will offer you basic video support, basic video editing for free. Uh, but the problem, and this is where it starts to get a little sad, is that when you start doing things, uh, one of the problems is that it will tell you at some point, Okay, uh, what do you want to do? So on the left side, you've got all the, the tools, but a lot of the tools and a lot of the things that you might want to use, not all of them are free. This is where it gets me a little um, kind of sad, but, um, you know, the basic output from what I see is 480p, and to get something more, you get an upgrade button, and look at this. Free? you have 480p exports, which is standard definition, which is kind of cheap, honestly, which is a current plan. If you want to have HD 720p or more, you got to pay a monthly subscription, which is completely sad. Honestly, very sad. Um, they should have given us, at least for free, the 720p export. That would have been nice. You don't have to have the you know cloud storage and all of that necessarily for them to start. You can store videos in your computer. I get it that unlimited cloud storage and all of that is you know it's it's actually not a bad deal, but it's the fact that you have to pay to get something in a higher quality. And I'm a little sad that they've gone that way with ClipChamp on Windows. And you know this is. Third-party software do that, not what's integrated within Windows itself. I find that sad that they actually have that happening, honestly. But ClipChamp is here, and if you want to try it out with the basic editing, it uh, seems to be a pretty complete software for editing, but uh, 480p only, remember that. Uh, kind of crappy when you think about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.